Good day, Blendify. Today, this is me, Shubham, and with me, SD from Blendify, and we are continuing with the node concept. So, today, we'll be talking about two nodes the mix shader and the add shader. So, open up a new blend file. So let me just do a quick scene setup. And I'm thinking of mixing the diffuse node with a glossy node. So, if you watched the previous tutorial, you'll know that we'll, do, we'll need to do a quick scene setup for that. So, drag up your timeline and change this from timeline to node editor uh, and use it use nodes okay so just readjustments maybe delete the sun and the background to zero yeah we can just do it black it's the same thing add an animation line new material delete this add and shader with a mission Maybe a strength of five, the cube, red or something, new material, blue, and now the major ball, maybe sphere. First of all, let's smooth it, new material, and actually delete this and add in a mix shader. So as you can see, it has a shader output, and it takes in two shader inputs and an FAC value. So what this actually does is takes two shaders and mixes them based on this FAC value. So we can add two shaders for this. So glossy or diffuse and maybe another glossy. So a render border and let's render it. So it has currently mixed diffuse and glossy both and you actually won't know the much of the difference. Let me put down the roughness zero. And now if I adjust the FAC value, I can adjust the amount of diffuse and glossiness. So FAC of 0 means completely diffuse and FAC of 1 means completely glossy, the second one. And FAC somewhere in the middle, you have somewhat of diffuse and somewhat of glossy. So that's actually more useful than using a single yeah, uh, glossy uh, material. I want to say something. So uh, the factor actually is a kind of a ratio that makes the first node and the second node. So a zero uh, factor is actually taking in the first node completely and it ignores the second node and a factor of one is actually taking only the second node in consideration and a factor of you know between zero and one it is actually a ratio that is combining the diffuse that is the first and the second node that thing that's actually correct and now i want to show you some quick trick because mix shader is actually used quite a lot so there's actually a shortcut for using a mix shader so you can just delete it and for that first we'll have to enable an add-on so file is the preferences you can go down to node and enable this node wrangler so save your settings and now what i can do is alt right click and drag and automatically a mix shader is added and you can connect it to the surface and there are also some other features like if you don't need it like if it's already connected then the mix shader will also get connected so faster way and sometimes you want to test the diffuse shaders so you can either connect this directly or a shorter way is control shift left click so if your new tree is somewhat like big it can actually be a problem connecting them so control shift left click that's a shorter way and there are actually some more cool features which well you should explore on your own that's actually good and yeah if you can see right now it's completely black as the world color is but in the mix shader it's taking the diffuse color into, into consideration also so that's why and if i change this color i can actually affect uh, if you want to you know have a nice tutorial uh, for the mix shader uh, you can see the uh, making of the pool balls by tutor for you i'll just add in a, a link in the description you can see that it's really great now i think that's it about mix shader of course fec is an input so you can also put plug in an input that's there value. yeah value input so we can plug in a value input here when needed so now let's go on to add shader so you can actually delete this and add in an add shader or the easier way due to node wrangler, node wrangler is pressing shift s and swapping it with shader and add shader so it gets swapped now 
add shader what it does is actually adds this shader's output and this shader's output and it gives which is a combination of both of these outputs to a hundred percent like in FA like in a mix shader you can adjust the FAC to have some glossiness or some diffuse but not an add shader there's actually no third input available so it actually adds both of these surfaces and there is a slight thing that in add shader it actually takes a longer time to render and produces more no noise and that's due to calculation of more than one node so that's actually not recommended by the blender society I actually also do not use it much mix shader will suffice more than enough and mix shader also produces a realistic note so let me do another thing of add shader to make it more clear so shift this add shader and we can swap this glossy with a diffuse shader and now what I'm going to do is add two complementary colors so one is red like pure red and other I want the complementary of red so that would be somewhere around here and a saturation also of 0.5 and if you can see clearly like let me just remove these two hit them so it's actually completely white it actually adds this color with this color so the resultant output is somewhere in the middle actually it's exactly in the middle if the colors are exactly the same and so that's why you will get a complete white color the same can happen with mix shader also but it mixes the colors so it's actually a bit darker than what ash shader produces because it's adding them while this is just mixing them so if you understood that then it's great else well I don't know. so that's uh, it for the, this tutorial in our next tutorial we'll be covering up uh, three more nodes those are the transparent, translucent, and the holdout shader. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you like it, and uh, stay tuned for our next tutorial. And if you have uh, some query or suggestion, do drop it in the comment section. And uh, to watch our future tutorials, do subscribe. And you can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com/blendflower. Yeah, and happy blending.